What's going on everyone? In this video, I want to quickly touch on file path traversal issues. This isn't seen too much, or at least I don't see it too much in day-to-day -day testing these days, but it's definitely more present um, back a uh, few years ago. However, it's still useful to know what this issue is in case that you do come across it. So basically, path traversal is used to exploit functionality within web applications or APIs or anything that uses a functionality that tries to take or use a file within an operating system structure. So I'll show you what I mean by that in a minute. But essentially, it's a, this vulnerability allows you to gain access to operating system files uh, whilst not using the operating system, like using a web application instead. So I'm using the Port Swigger Acad Academy lab here, uh, the file traversal lab, and uh, the point of this lab is to gain access to the etc. password file. So the web application looks like this, it's a shop. And what happens is, when you click on a shop item, the product loads and it tries to load an image which you can see here, which is the file name. And you can see here, it's got a directory structure. So as soon as you see a parameter trying to load a directory structure, you can straight away think that this could be vulnerable to file path traversal issues. So the first thing you might want to do is try and send this to repeater. And you might want to just simply try browsing to the actual file to see if it will just simply load the file from the operating system. It doesn't. So if, if that's the case, you may want to try a URL encode. So, well actually, firstly, you might want to try going back a few directories to see if the directory structure needs to hop back to the root directory to find the etc. password file. That didn't work. So maybe try URL encoding because maybe the HTTP web app web server uh, requires that to um, decode the characters and then use the actual uh, input that you're inputting. So if you go ahead and just convert selection to URL encoding, you can see that's encoded the characters. Send that. That didn't work either. So these are all just things that you can try when you're looking for file traversal issues. Um, the last thing you might want to try, if I just reload the image again, is you might think that the file name parameter is actually validating this file structure, so the var www images. So if we go ahead and get rid of the two, and then we want to go back three directory places, because we've got three here, and then we add on the etc. password on the end there. Because this is still being validated by the file name parameter, but we're going backwards three directories, you're basically asking file name just to get etc. passwords from the root directory. So if you send that, you then gain access to that file within the web structure, and that gets you access to the etc. password wd file, and that solves the issue. So in a nutshell, that's file path traversal. And this is just a Linux example. You can also try this on Windows machines. So you might find an IIS web server where you want to obviously be using um, Windows uh, directory structures here rather than Linux. And you also want to look at other files than password D. So like the shadow file or um, other files like sudo or things that might allow you to escalate privileges uh, on the web server. But as I say, that's file path traversal in a nutshell. Happy hunting.